so uh, we will discuss it by solving an example to make it easier for you guys uh, let's suppose uh, as we discussed earlier these are the two formulas for this is for point of application of the load and w is for self weight calculation or weight of the retaining wall hello guys welcome to my channel this is my third video related to designing of retaining walls in my previous videos we discussed about some thumb rules and tips about designing of retaining wall in this video we are going to determine self weight or you can say the vertical pressure of a retaining wall as in the previous video we discussed that the weight w acts downward whereas the bearing capacity of a soil or underground uh, underneath soil uh, acts in opposite direction so why it is important to determine the self weight because uh, if we going to design the retaining wall we must know the bearing capacity and the weight should be less than the bearing capacity of the soil so it is very important to find the self weight of a retaining wall and we will also discuss the point of application of this w okay which is uh, denoted by x dash uh, so we will discuss these two things how to determine self weight and the point of application of that weight so let's start our today's topic first of all uh, we will find the point of application of weight w as we know that weight of a wall x vertically downward and this weight x through the center of gravity of the wall in rectangular wall this weight x at the middle of the base of the wall if we have a rectangular shape wall or simple rectangle as you can see over here in this picture then the weight w x at the center of the base of the rectangular wall that is b divided by 2 if b is the base of the wall then the point of application of that load we will be in the center of that retaining a uh, rectangular wall okay but in trapezoidal shape wall where w x at the distance x from the heel as if we uh, suppose this is the retaining wall this is the top width of the wall and this is the bottom uh, width of the wall h is the height of the wall and where w x downward through the center of gravity of the wall and this distance x dash the point of application from the uh, you can say from the heel of the wall uh, how to calculate this distance for so for a trapezoidal wall this distance can be determined by using this formula this is the simple formula to term, determine the point of application of weight w so keep in mind this formula and remember it okay Uh, if we come towards the calculation of self weight of a retaining wall self weight of a wall is determined for unit length that is per meter or per foot weight of a trapezoidal wall can be determined using the formula so to determine the weight of a wall this formula should be used that is density multiplied by volume okay as these are the dimensions of the uh, wall and weight w is equal to lambda what is lambda lambda is actually density of a constructional material of a retaining wall as we discussed in my previous video there are different types of wall and different classification of wall the link of which is given in the description it is very uh, important to learn uh, that the, what are different types of the retaining wall so uh, the density or lambda depends upon the constructional material or you can say the retaining wall can be made up of uh, pcc rcc stone masonry brick masonry or whatever construction materials you are using lambda is for density of that material okay and the average of the top and bottom width a plus b divided by 2 multiply by height of the wall multiply by total length of the wall okay if we don't multiply by length it will give the weight of the wall per meter that is if the wall have a 1 meter length a unit length okay so uh, we will discuss it by solving an example to make it easier for you guys uh, let's suppose uh, 
as we discussed earlier these are the two formulas for this is for point of application of the load and w is for self weight calculation or weight of the retaining wall so let's assume we have a pcc retaining wall okay uh, the mentioning of pcc is very important because we are going to use the density of pcc concrete as we know that rcc concrete have different density retaining wall of a stone mastery have different density the density of rcc is 2500 kg per cubic meter and the density of uh, uh, stone density of stone is uh, about 800 1800 to uh, you can say 2100 kg per cubic meter so we are uh, assuming pcc retaining wall okay let's suppose the top width of the retaining wall is 0.6 meters and bottom width is 3 meters and height of the retaining wall is 6 meters and we assume that length of the retaining wall is 25 meters so to determine the point of application that is distance x uh, we will use this formula the first formula okay a is the top width b is the bottom width and then there is product and divided by 3 into a plus b putting these values we will get this number that is x bar is equal to 1.533 meters this is the point of application of load self load or you can say self weight of the retaining wall so how to determine self weight this formula will be used okay that is w is equal to 2400 2400 is the density of the pcc okay and a is the top width 3 is the bottom width divided by 2 that is average of that widths okay multiply by 6 multiply by 25 this is actually the volume of the retaining wall volume multiply by density this is the density of the retaining wall so we will get the value 64800 kg this is the weight of the 25 meter long wall okay if we have to determine per meter length we will divide it by 25 we will divide it by total length we will get the weight of a retaining wall that is self weight of a retaining wall per meters okay i hope you have understand the topic for more videos you are requested to please subscribe the channel and don't forget to press the bell icon to get video updates